All right, this is starting to shape up. And before we get too far, I just wanna take a moment and remind you that when you are cooking, not from a recipe, when you're just experimenting and you're playing here in your Photoshop kitchen, experimentation is really key. And so even though as I'm building this here with you, it looks like, oh, I knew exactly what I wanted and you know, I knew where to put her and where to put this and that and all the other elements that we're gonna add here in a moment. But I just, I wanna show you how that's really not the case. I'm trying things and moving them around a lot and I'm grouping things differently. And so I have another image here that's not part of this composite, but I think it's worth showing you. I've even called it eggshells because I just, I really wanted to remind you that in order to bake a cake, you have to break some eggs, right? So I threw everything in here. And then what I did was I started going through and grouping them into different compositions. And when I felt like, ooh, maybe these are gonna work together, then I put them in a folder. So for example, I called this composition, I put it in a folder and I called it record. And you can see that there are other things in here like this phone that I ended up not using. Um, and I've already deleted many, many, many layers. So I forgot to save like the messiest part of this. Um, so I had already deleted that, but ended up liking this composition and dragged some more things around and I made another composition. What's in here? This one's pretty, looks like I cleaned it up already, this layer, or this uh, composition. So this one is called Palm TV. I made another one called Skate TV. I guess I was really into this television <laughs> concept. Um, and also the 80s, so I, I would put in a roller skate. Uh, this one, this bust, was one that I started building and then it just was not exciting me. I don't know, it wasn't working for me. So I kind of abandoned it, but um, I'm glad I didn't delete the, the folder from here because then I couldn't show you the stuff that doesn't, you know, it's on the cutting room floor. So this was a, a piece from the cutting room floor. Here's another um, piece that I really like, and I, I called it arms because that was very creative. <laughs> but I, I love this piece. Uh, so who knows, this may live on elsewhere. This one I called Butterfly Lady, and I love it. I think the colors are just so beautiful and so rich, gorgeous. Uh, this one is called Popcorn Legs, because of course, everyone, wants to make popcorn legs, don't they? Uh, this one is Butterfly Hand, and I love this, but the deal breaker for me right now is this hand image is just not um, crisp. It's very like blurry. So this may live on later, but I'll need to find a more in-focus hand. So I'll have to come back to that. And then I kept with the butterfly theme and I made this guy right here, or this woman right here, um, and she, she's in this boat, a very small boat. Um, and I love this piece. I just started grabbing all these pieces and I threw them all in the pot. And then I started throwing some out and arranging things. And as I would go, I would kind of make a composition I liked and I'd say, okay, butterfly birdcage lady, and I'd put her in a folder and then and then I just had like 50 other layers here. So I would kind of go through and, and I would just turn them off and just turn on the ones I thought would work well together and then move them around and, and if they didn't work, I threw them out. So there's a lot you're, you're not seeing. Um, and if they sort of were starting to work, I would group them. And then I just kept going until I had either thrown everything away or put it in a folder. 